scientists have not done, I don't think, as good a job as we could have in communicating the importance of sleep to the public. And it was part of the motivation to write the book. It was one of two critical motivations. I think that's the first part. The second part is, you know, 20 or 30 years ago, we just didn't know enough about sleep. Um, or even if we did, I think, you know, how that translates trickle down, you know, into communities and schools just was going to take some time. But I'm desperate to try and change that. You know, I'd love to work with the World Health Organization, the CDC, I'd love to work with any first world nation government if they want to think about an educational policy. It is bereft in all first world nations right now, and that needs to change. So I think the trickle down has yet to occur and, and happen. I think the final thing comes back to something you hinted at, which is sleep has an image problem that we stigmatize getting sufficient sleep with this label of laziness. You know, that we are slothful if we're getting sufficient sleep. And I choose my word very carefully, sufficient. I'm not talking about sort of excess. And so I don't think that has helped. I think communities, even in schools, were resistant. And to me, what I find surprising about that mentality is that we don't always hold that notion. What I mean is that you know, no one would look at an infant sleeping during the day and say, well, psh, what a lazy baby. You know, and we, we don't say that because we know that sleep at that time of life is non-negotiable. It's absolutely essential. But then somewhere between infancy and now, if you look, even toddler age or childhood, not only do we abandon the notion that sleep is essential, but we actually chastise people for getting enough. And people become proud to tell you how little sleep that they get. So I think that part of, you know, to come back to your original question as to why that voice isn't there, why we don't know these things, I think part of it is because we don't have an educational system that is either aware of sleep or teaching sleep, or perhaps I fear embracing and ready to, you know, celebrate sleep rather than stigmatize it.